Happy to have you with us, my friends. Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network, meeting and surpassing all audience expectations every day. Remember what Bill Clinton said about the entire Obama presidency, about the entire Obama campaign? Clinton famously dismissed Obama's entire candidacy by saying, give me a break. This whole thing's the biggest fairy tale I've ever seen. This is back when it was going to be his wife and the media abandoned his wife for the for the young, attractive Messiah instead of the old and the aging whatever. And so Clinton was upset and they were playing the race card on him. He said, give me a break. This guy's the biggest in suit I've ever seen. This is the biggest fairy tale I've ever seen. And that's what this is. This is a fairy tale. This this cannot be fixed. Folks, the damage is more than done here. Already, millions of Americans have been made to pay higher premiums. They have lost their jobs. Look at all the people who have been converted from part-time to full-time. We had 91.5 million Americans not working, 48 million Americans on food stamps and climbing. People have had, for the past month, their health insurance policies canceled, but all of a sudden today, with the waving of a magic wand, the insurance companies have to somehow make those canceled plans available, even though they are in direct conflict with the existing law called Obamacare. Just yesterday, those canceled policies were substandard, and now that's what Obama wants you to have, because you want it. You didn't want to have to get rid of it. He lied to you. And the Democrats are in electoral trouble for for uh, November of 2014. This is it's unfixable. The you know even McCain, and I've got the soundbite. Even McCain said, "This is never going to work. The only thing we can do is repeal this." McCain, folks. I don't know if he squared that with Chris Christie before he said it, but nevertheless, this is what Senator McCain is now suggesting. The only fix is repeal. Now, was it just a month ago? Ted Cruz was an extremist, radical, hostage-taking, ransom-demanding wacko for suggesting this. The AP headline on the Obama press conference today sums it all up. It's by David S. But he doesn't write the headline. This is the AP story. Policy cancellations, colon, Obama will allow old plans. What is this will allow? He might think of himself one, but he is not a dictator. We are not a banana republic yet. This is not an authoritarian form of government. This is a constitutional republic, and the president doesn't allow or disallow. The president can't buy or purchase. Congress must do that. All this talk about, well, Obama, he'll just come along and offer subsidies if he has to. to be. Obama can't do that legally. Only Congress can approve that. But right here you have it, right from the AP, Obama will allow old plans. You wonder why I'm using the language I'm using about him pretending playing dictator? The media already thinks he is. Obama will allow old plans. The fact of the matter is, in our form of government, Barack Obama did not have the power to do any of this in the first place. And that's what's wrong with it, and that's why it needs to be repealed, because it does not jibe with our former government. This is, this is an affront to the very founding of this country. Every aspect of Obamacare is an affront to the founding. Let me grab a call before the uh, hour wraps up. Jason in Dayton, Ohio. Hello, sir. Great to have you on the program. Hi. Thanks for having me, Rush. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Hey, I want to know, um, when are we going to see a shred of accountability from this uh, administration? You did. Um, You did today. That's what you saw. Well... I, I think that's uh, laughable. I mean, from um, from the beginning of this health care rollout to, um, you know, all the issues that they've, they've had with the website 
And down to today, it's, it's a lot of finger pointing. Uh, whereas I feel if any of it had been successful, it would have been, you know, Barack saying, oh, you know, I did this, I did this. But um, we haven't seen a, a shred of accountability. No, wait, see, down- here's, here's the problem. Look, I'm sorry, to, Jason, it didn't ever have a chance to be successful. No, no, I, I agree it with you It couldn't be. This is the point. This was never. This is a fantasy. This is a bunch of liberal theoreticians, smug, arrogant, condescending intellectuals sitting around the faculty lounge for years and years planning and dreaming of how, if they ever got control, how they would fix the horrible inequities of capitalism and they would make it work simply by the force of their intellect. They are smarter than anybody. This is exactly what you get when you have a bunch of pseudo-intellectuals who arrogantly think they're smarter than anybody else putting themselves in the place of people who've got experience and knowledge when they have none. There is no accountability for socialists, for communists, for liberals. It's always somebody else's fault. In this case, it's going to be the insurance companies that screwed this up. And it's going to be the governors that screwed this up who didn't do the exchanges. Obama, as far as he's concerned, he went out and said, oh, I'm sorry, you misunderstood. And, and that's, that's as much accountability as you're going to get. In his mind, he hadn't done anything. Everybody else just too stupid to figure out how to make this work. It's just, it's, it's, it's insulting is what all this is. I have a prediction. I have a prediction. I think the Democrats in the Senate are not going to go for this. They're going to want Landrew because it's permanent. They don't want just a one-year fix. Let's see if this doesn't satisfy the Democrats.